When you think about the most iconic sports games of the 90s, games like John Madden Football, NBA Jam, and Tecmo Super Bowl likely come to mind. The best sports game of the decade, however, could arguably be NHL 94, a game many still consider to be the greatest hockey video game ever made. Computer Gaming World said the game had a playing environment flush with realism, excitement, and credibility. Many publications have had the game listed on their top 100 games of all time. That's right, this game wasn't just the best hockey game or even the best sports game ever made. To many, this was the best video game of all time, and that means something. Think about the modern sports games out today, including EA's latest NHL title. Would you consider any of these to be in the running for the greatest video game of all time? Probably not. NHL 94 is from a time when sports games were in their early stages. The potential was endless, and every new feature was truly innovative. Even when playing NHL 94 today, you'll notice and appreciate the attention to detail, the incredibly fun and easy to learn gameplay, and the legendary vibe this game produces. It wasn't the deepest or most complex hockey game ever made, but it was arguably the most fun, and it arguably still is. And that's why NHL 94 is legendary. Surprisingly, NHL 94 did not feature any fighting, despite it being in previous and obviously future NHL titles. The game's producer, Michael Brooks, said the following in an interview with the Hockey News. We brought the game to the 1991 Stanley Cup Final. It was set up in the media room. Some of the reporters figured out pretty quickly how to make fights happen. We didn't have the player's license, but it's obvious who number 99 on the Kings was supposed to be. So they were getting Wayne Gretzky into fights. Unfortunately, this was all about 10 feet away from the table that NHL president John Ziegler was sitting at with the NHL's top brass. By the time I arrived home from Pittsburgh after game two, the NHL contacted me and wanted us to remove fighting in the game. But it was too late because the game was already approved and we had like 10 million dollars worth of cartridges ready to go. The NHL said we'd have to remove fighting from future versions of our game or they would cut their license. So I had a choice to make. I could get rid of fighting and keep the NHL logos, or I could keep fighting and take the NHL logos out, which wasn't as big of a deal as you might think because we had John Madden football, and it did not have an NFL license, but people were just fine with the city names and the team colors. I felt pretty strongly that video gamers would be a lot more interested in having fighting in the game than the team nicknames and logos. NHL PA 93 was a solid game with some awesome fights, and initially, NHL 94 was actually planned as NHL PA 94. The relationship between the NHL League and the NHL Players Association wasn't the best back then, and after the success of NHL PA 93, the league itself was actually a bit jealous EA was able to make the game without their licensing. The plan was for the team to release the game again without the NHL license and with fighting, but then EA realized they wanted to release a Sega CD version of the game, utilizing the CD format to include full motion video. To get NHL footage, they would need the NHL license. What was more important, NHL clips in the Sega CD version or the epic bloody fights? EA was running out of time and ended up caving to the NHL, removing fights for the rights to the league's licensing and footage. A deal was agreed upon, and at the very last minute, NHL PA 94 became NHL 94. The best overall version of NHL 94 was the Sega CD version, as it had the smoothest gameplay and full motion video. However, the Sega Genesis version was more popular and was nearly the same game minus the video. So that's the version I'll be focusing on. NHL 94 was the entire package. With both the NHL and NHLPA license, the game had everything a hockey fan would expect to see at the time, and with new features such as one-timers and manual goalie control, back when it released, this game was groundbreaking. Obviously today, despite what you think about modern NHL titles, the newer games are just more complex and deeper than 94. So why is this old game still so popular? Well, because it was just really fun to play. The simple graphics are easy to follow, and the gameplay is simple, makes sense, and has aged really well. 
It's similar to how Retro Bowl or Tecmo Bowl feels more fun than modern Madden, despite each being a much less complex game. Great game design stands the test of time, even if it's more simple. There was no season mode, the AI wasn't that great, and teams didn't exactly play like they would in real life. This isn't the definitive NHL experience in 2023. Think about NBA Jam for a second. No one plays NBA Jam for a deep franchise mode. They play it because the gameplay is simple and fun. And that's exactly why people play NHL 94 even to this day. If you can get some friends together and want to have an awesome party tournament, that is where this game shines. NHL 94 is as good as two-player video games get. In NHL 21, there was an NHL 94 port in-game with updated rosters and teams. In NHL 14, there was also a similar mode called NHL 94 Anniversary Mode, which was NHL 14 played in the style of NHL 94. The point here is that this game had such an impact, EA used it twice to market a newer NHL title. There are even roster updates for this game releasing today, updating everything, even adding new teams like the Seattle Kraken. There are Twitch tournaments played today, active online communities, and more. This game will never die, because it's just that much fun. If you've never played NHL 94, why? It'll run on anything, just fire up a Sega Genesis emulator and get started. Try out the Sega CD version too, if you want to see those NHL clips the developers removed fighting for. Give it a shot, even if you aren't the biggest hockey fan, because this game will make you one. Again, it's just that fun and just that iconic. Thanks for watching.